Good morning, my name is Ryan Reed, and here's today's news. Today we'll be talking about how the storehouse food pantry, Tennessee Man's legal battle after finding that Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has hidden a camera on his property. Also, a new study has shown which destinations are the best to travel to this month. And finally, our beloved Florida man, coming up on Red Raider News, starting now. The Storehouse Food Pantry on 607 Hickerson Street, Manchester, received a donation of food items from Dot Foods on Monday, October 24th, as part of the company's nationwide neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor giving program. Rich Rahal, Dot Foods Regional Manager, said Dot Foods is a family-owned company that believes in giving back to the communities it is in. The company broke ground on its 13th distribution center in the U.S. last August. The facility will be located in the Manchester Industrial Park and is scheduled to open in September or October 2023. Each of our distribution centers does it nationwide, so it is all going right now, Rahal said. We did Good Samaritan Food Bank in the Tullahoma first, and then we do the Storehouse Food Pantry, and next we are doing Good Samaritan in Manchester. Rahal said food items being donated include canned soups, cereals, pasta, tuna fish, and other perishable items. Saria Davidson, president and founder of Storehouse Food Pantry, said the donation means a lot to her. Tennessee Man's legal battle after finding that Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has hidden a camera on his property. Hunter Hollingsworth said, as we came around the curve, my headlights caught something shining in the tree, so I thought it was some animal. So I grabbed my flashlight out of my truck and shined to the tree and see what it was, and I saw it was a camera with an antenna. He took the camera down and found pictures of TWRA and Fish and Wildlife Service agents on them, as well as himself. Hollingsworth put the camera in his gun safe and essentially forgot all about it until that fall when law enforcement came knocking with a search warrant saying he stole the camera. They had on bulletproof vests, first aid kits, extra magazines that like they were a SWAT team to come get this camera that I supposedly stole. That was on my property illegally, Hollingsworth said. They searched his whole house. Officers handcuffed Hollingsworth, but he didn't go to jail or receive a citation that day. In response, he filed a lawsuit challenging the, that the cameras are unlawful. As of now, the lawsuit is still pending. My life has been amazing. I got my first car, met a girl, graduated high school, top of my class. Then I went to my dream college on a full ride athletic scholarship, graduated with a bachelor's degree, and remember the girl? She became my wife. Then some years passed, quite a few years. Then my wife and I built a house and had two beautiful children. Then I got my first big promotion. Life went on. I raised kids, and before I knew it, they were as old as I was. In my old age, I thought a lot about the legacy I would leave as I looked at my grandkids playing with the widest smiles on their faces. My life had its ups and downs, but that's just life. A life I never got to live. A legacy I never got to fulfill because I died of an opioid addiction. Now my legacy is just a bottle. Hey guys, my name is AJ Rue, and this is your weather forecast for the weekend. Friday seems to have a high of 76 with a low of 58. Expect clear skies and a nice evening to enjoy your activities. Saturday, we have a high of 69 and a low of 60. Expect a sad and rainy day. And finally, the drop of the weekend, Sunday, we're expecting a high of 76 with a low of 61. And once again, another sad and rainy day. Next week, Monday, we're looking at a high of 79 and a low of 56. Expect a cloud and warm day. Tuesday, high of 79, low of 52, mostly sunny. Stay warm, stay safe. And I'm AJ Rue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Mom. Love you. This would be my last time telling my mom I love her. This would be my last time walking down the driveway. This would be my last time grabbing the mail. For more information or ways you can help, please visit nhtsa.gov. Good morning, Coffee County. My name is Ryan Ream, filling in for Matthew Blomquist, and I'm bringing you today's sports news. To start things off, our Coffee County Red Raider football team will be hosting their first playoff game since 2007 against Stewart's Creek tonight at 7. If they win, it will be their first playoff win in the program's history. 
In other news, Principal Paul Parsley recently announced that the school will be going in a different direction from Lady Raiders soccer head coach Lee Zizis, stating that they will be, 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 begin search for Lady Raiders coach immediately. And finally, Ray Ray Kelly Rossman and Red Raider Fletcher Barnard qualified for the state meet, which will be at Sanders Ferry Park today. That's for today's news. My name is Ryan Reem, helping bring you the latest on today's sports. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine, lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50%. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer. For more information, visit cancer.net. Welcome back. My name is Ryan Reem, and here we go. A new study has shown which destinations are the best to travel to this month. And to help you guys out, we will be going over the top 8. The top 8 are Mauritius, Doha and Qatar, Istanbul and Turkey, Greece, New York City, Egypt, Dubai, and first being Thailand. It is one of the best places to visit because it is when the monsoon season ends and when the dry season begins. Today, Mr. Florida Man has been accused of pouring bleach into co-workers' drink for being difficult to work with. Jerome Ellis was arrested for charges of poisoning food or water and tampering with evidence after video surveillance showed Ellis pouring bleach into one of his co-workers' can of Pepsi. Like seriously, I don't even do that. Come on. Ellis initially told deputies there was no argument between him and his co-worker and that he went behind the counter with cleaning solution and spilled some in that general area. Video footage even saw Ellis attempting to unplug the camera system. Ellis was brought into custody after the incident. And that's what happens when you drink Pepsi. That's all in today's news. My name is Ryan Reem, and this has been Red Rare News. See you all next week.